Cross here. Yeah. Corey! Bobby Fowler. Gerard! Oh, you Welcome to the Boot Room. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the Boot Room on Arm in Pine. Since the last game, we've only played one league game, but we've also played in the League Cup against Burton. Before we use today's Let's Play, which is going to be against Burnley, bit of a bogey team for Liverpool in recent times, let's watch the highlights from the two games that you've missed. And it's the corner in by Jordan Henderson. The back post, there's, oh, there's Joel Matip out, jumps three and it falls to Mane. Sadio Mane, first goal of the season. Who does Matip out jump? Fabregas on the ball. To Marcus Alonso, hits it from range maybe? No. Plays it through and it's Danny Sturridge of all players right back there, helping out. Our only striker helping out the defence. Fair play to him. Working hard. Jurgen Klopp had liked that. Coutinho. Liverpool on the counter. Nope. David Luiz without the crazy hair. Oh, good ball to Diego Costa. 1-1. One, one. Good finish from Chelsea's, uh, let's say, danger man. Straight from kickoff. Burton playing it round. It's a very much changed Liverpool team. Gruwich intercepts Bobby Firmino to Origi. Running through. Is he going to unleash one? He does. Oh, it's right in the bottom corner. First goal of the season for the Belgian Divock Origi. And it's... I don't know what he's doing there. Oh, he's gone in. I don't know what Berdanesh is do, doing there, but he scored it. First goal of the season. Still not quite worked out what was going on with that Berdanesh free kick. I've watched it a few more times and he's just dancing over the ball. But let's move on from it. He scored it. That's all that matters. Moving on to today's game, away at Burnley, playing at Turf Moor. Not the easiest place to go. In real life, Burnley very, very solid there. So, we're going to go with the team that's played well against United. It played well against Chelsea, but only got a draw. This is the team we're going for. It is Mignolet in net. I realise you can't see what I'm doing when I do that. Stay down there. Mignolet in net. Nathaniel Klein at right back. Matip and Lovren in centre-back with Moreno as a full-back attack at left-back. Emre Chan back in his deep-line playmaker role, partnered in midfield by James Milner. Only reason Milner's playing, the unfortunate injury to Jordan Henderson. He's out for about two weeks. He twisted his ankle in training, which was good, right before the Burton game. So in fairness, he gave him a rest anyway. So we've got, then in front of them, we've got Sadio Mane, Goal scorer against Chelsea. Adam Luana changed his role a bit to an attacking midfielder. Just going to see how it goes. He's not been playing too well with an advanced playmaker role, so we're trying something new. Coutinho, still playing the inside forward attack. I think he's scored one already. Yeah, scored against United, I think. And up front, Daniel Sturridge. Our strikers are not playing well at the minute. Like Danny Sturridge, 6.7. Only one goal. Divock Origi, same. And his came against Burton. Although that was his first game, I think. We've got Arsenal top of the league, Leicester in second, West Ham in third, and us there in fourth. A win would take us joint on points with Arsenal. I don't think if I look down the table, no, we can't be overtaken by anybody. So, lowest we can go is pretty much to stay where we are. Oh no. I've just seen Everton, West Brom, Chelsea, Tottenham are all only on four points. So if we lose, they can overtake us. Or if we draw, they can overtake us. We need to win, what I'm basically saying. Continue the opposition, apply the advice. I always trust him. He's quite good in real life at this, at helping with like tactics and that. So I'll let him do all that. Get into team talk. Pick up where you left off. That went well. Could have gone worse. Could have gone better. That'll do. I don't want to watch them all come out. Oh, Joey Barton, get a red card. Got to get a red card in this game. Should be passing it around them with ease. Here we go. Who's on the ball? Coutinho to Matip. Still don't quite get why he's a defensive, uh, like a defensive centre-back. Quite good at bringing the ball out in real life. Good Munson. Tackle them. Um. Nope. Loads of room on that side for Brady to run into. Emre Chan reads it perfectly. James Milner. Chan. Anyone? There's Mane. Is he going to turn him? He has got the pace to do so. Nope. Milner. Lalana. Mane. Sturridge. Oh, straight at heat and either side and that's a goal. Lana. Oh, there we go. Changed his role and he's got a goal. Freestyle master there, mate. 
Good finish by Lana. Storage straight at Heaton. Here's the replay. Mane digs it back out. Lana takes one touch. Again, it's quite straight at the keeper, but it's managed to squeeze its way in. I'll take a goal however they come. 7.38 for Lalana. Coutinho with the corner. Headed up partially clear, let's say, because Klein's managed to tidy up. Oh, and then Klein's dallied on it. Here's Ben Mee. That's all right, actually. It's Ben Mee. Could have been a lot worse. Chan. Lalana. Somehow comes back to Lalana. James Milner, the standing captain in Henderson's absence. Oh, dear. Klein, not another one. You've given the ball away. There we go. Who would have thought out of all my defenders, Nathaniel Klein would be the one that I'm concerned about? Not Moreno. Not Lovren. Go on, Coutinho. Look inside. There's Lalana. Oh, he's playing well today, Lalana. Coutinho! Absolute thunderbolt from the Brazilian. Trademark in real life. Just cut inside and smashed it past the keeper. Let's watch that again. Just Milner lays it off. Coutinho cuts in past, is that Michael Keane? It is. And what? That is unstoppable. He could have Neuer in net and he wouldn't keep that one out. Good goal, Coutinho. I think we found quite a free scoring formation here. Like the 4 2 3 1 with Liverpool. See what I mean about the strikers, though? Danny Sturridge, he's had that shot that was straight at Heaton. Other than that, he's not really done anything. So, maybe time to change form, to maybe drop him back into. Like being alongside Alana and change it to Firmino. Not too sure yet. Have to see if they manage to if they manage to like break a poor run of form. It could be poor run of form. He's got one goal in three games against Chelsea United and now Burnley at home, Burnley away. Same for Origi. one goal in one start. As far as I can remember, I think that's right. All right, sub time. Coutinho playing well. All our attacking players are playing well. Ginny Wan Aldemon. Divock Origi. No, do you know what? I'm going to do what I said. Let's change it to Firmino. Complete forward support, so he drops back in to help out a bit. And I, I need to bring him on. I want to give him game time, but with the, the ability that the two players in the team have got, and the way they're playing, like Mane and Coutinho, are just running rings around Burnley. I say running rings. Look at James Milner with a 9 rating. Headed fully clear, partially clear. Coutinho tidies up. He's had a riot of a game today. Coutinho to Gini Wijnaldum. Just come on the pitch, as we know. Lovren, the ball playing centre-back. That doesn't flow easily off the tongue. Oh, Coutinho went for another one. Moreno. Is he going to get another bite? No, he's not. There's Boyd. Come and get that Lovren. Well done. Oh, Ginny. And here come Burnley. Still 20 minutes left to play. 22 minutes left to play. Ward. Playing well at the minute. I think they're just playing on the counter. They've only had one shot on target. No doubt they'll have one more and it'll go in. Oh, no, because Mignolet is a cat. Who's this taking their corner? Stephen DeFore. Forgot they had him. Lovren being more like the Lovren we all know and love. Or hate. Or like. They get another chance to whip it in. Oh, Mignolet. Just like real life. Cl commanding that corner. Claiming it well. <clears throat> I definitely believe that. 90 minutes, game over surely. 20 seconds, yeah, game over, we've won. That is a very nice win. A very tricky ground to come to. Where are Burnley? Two points from two games, so they've drawn both games. At least they're being solid. Oh, Mignolet. Did he save that? I don't know if he saved it or not. Oh, well. Well done, lads. Very nice victory, well done. Oh, I should have stayed on that screen to show the table at the end of the episode. Browse. Not schedule, competitions, there we go. Right, before we end, I'll show you the table. Tottenham top with a goal of seven. Wow, who's been scoring their goals? 
I'm assuming Harry Kane. Arsenal in second, us in third, Leicester fourth, Everton at the minute are the only team in Europa. In the relegation zone at the minute, it's Palace bottom, no points from three games. Borough have got one point, Hull have got one point, and Man United, although they have played a game less than the bottom two, still only on one point. So they lost to us. Who did they draw to? They drew to Burnley. Oh, so we did better than United at Burnley. That's good to know. It's in United's team. Chelsea in 10th. West Ham 7th. Man City 8th. And Southampton down there. Sunderland. Bet they'd love to be in that position in real life. Oh, yeah. And we got Arsenal in the third round of the cup. That's nice to know, isn't it? That's a nice, easy fourth round, third round draw. Away at the Emirates. Oh, yeah. And we won the MS- MLS All Stars game in friendlies. Didn't tell you about that in the earlier episode. Didn't really think it was worth mentioning. As we're on the screen now, why not? But anyway, that's the end of this episode. No, it will be. No. You're not having him, Wenger. Not even you're for £40 million and one pounds. You're not having him. Now it's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.